I just not remember? Uh, Either of those. How, how recent is quite recent. I don't really well, like, want a new I job. I feel buying, like I've done the jobs. I remember the, buying the Transformers one, you for instance. Have three new messages. This is so quiet. Shady. This. Shady. We need a cab, see? We got some more cab, cab rides we need to give in the city. We just need you to bring us one we can use. Don't bring it in if it's all beat up. Right, so a bring thing. a cab in good condition. Hilarious but somewhat racist depiction of a Chinese man trying to order food, I think. Granger's wheels have just been spotted, cowboy. They're parked up in Midtown. Call me if you want to make a mess of them. Granger's wheels or a cab? I think you should go with the racist depiction I of a Chinese man. I don't think that's actually a mission. Look, if it try. Disappointed. I mean, where would you? Yeah, how would you know where to go? What to do? On the basis of that. Well, the first thing you do is which you, I'm absolutely you not doing take, an impression of. <laughs> because there's no way. Oh, as we say in my country, we fung chow hoo. There we go. Okay. It addressed the issue without actually doing a Chinese. Also, I love that the PlayStation can't correctly scale uh, textures along the z-axis, which is why the top of that tape machine. Looks like someone bent the shit out of it. Yeah, the bit in the middle, which looks like someone's punched it right in the yeah, centre. Yeah, that, uh, that's the PlayStation. Granger's wheels are just so Granger's right. wheels or steal a cab. We need a cab. Do, do a cab. Okay. This sounds like it's just going to be driving carefully to a place. And yeah, that's, I, I, that's our area of expertise at the moment. Well, currently, I am the, the best. Mr. Careful McDrivington. I'm the best ever. <laughs> well, I mean, if you trained, you know, obviously. Yeah, well, if, if I trained. Did Phil Baroni ever fight Tank Abbott? I feel like Phil Baroni was sufficiently after Tank Abbott that. Right, so I've got no. Oh, man, that's dark. And now it's loud again. Quite like the music. I'm just going to quickly check. I'm going to use the boot. See, they're going to take care of it. So I have to drive carefully all night, that's fine. A... Oh my god, there's an in car view. Did not realise. This whole game I've been playing without my in car view. I'm such a scrub. Not really. I have 
no idea what I even hit there. Let's try that again. And this time, I'll drive like an old lady. Because that would be the hypest. I think I can leave to the UFC. I feel like I do. Did you do okay? He lost to Vanamay Silver in his first fight, but then since it's a then, tough fight. Since then, yeah, his first fight, we've seen. Uh, since then, he's beaten Patrick Cote and Rich Franklin, which seem very respectable. They are decent wins. You know, if I'd beat Rich Franklin or Patrick Cote, I'd be. You'd brag, wouldn't you? I, I think. Like, yeah, might have beaten them. I, I feel like that would be in my bio, yeah. They're still doing well as well, they're both still winning, they're not like... I haven't seen the UFC in so long. I kind of miss it, but it's just so hard to keep in touch with it. Yeah, they... We've got no way of really watching it here anymore. Not legally, no. Well, not unless we want to spend a shit ton of money every time they have a pay-per-view. And it'll just be the two of us. Yeah. And it'll be on at like four in the morning. We end up falling asleep before the end of it, so... Basically, suboptimal best. I didn't move for a while. I wasn't looking at the results because I thought one day we'll get back into watching. It's been so long now that I just think, why don't I look to see how do it? Yeah. He's down seven, though. I think. Finally retired. Yeah, I think so fine at the top. I will now that. I don't think we've proven we be using that sort of language. You have to get that one extra. Yeah, he's got to be better. Is that the most wins in competitive fighting? Smart fights, rather? Oh, competitive fighting. I'm sure there's some Muay Thai guys that have had like a thousand fights and won about 400 of them. You didn't know that, yeah. Yeah. That's an astounding record, especially for a man who was still fighting in what was he when he retired? 60s? I think he was not quite 60s, I think he was last. The last was in 2012. Right. Uh, April of 2012, let's call that 2012. He was now 55. Okay, so 53. I'm, I'm sorry, I said he might have been in the 60s. Yeah, it's easy. You don't know. Speak for Dan Seven. Stars. You don't even care. He knows you still. Old water visual. Yeah, that is badass. <laughs> it's really it, It's probably terrible, but. It just sounds like everyone that's there has to be hardy to survive the cold waters of cold water Michigan. How cold are these waters? They're like scary know. cold? Well, if it's a goal, it's the name of the thing. That sounds cold. It does sound cold. I mean, I would suggest oh, googling that exactly, exactly that phrase. Most MMA wins. And there will be people arguing to the death over whether the Gracie's fights counted as MMA. Oh, yeah. for, the, for the record, I'm not. Especially since most of Hicks and Gracie's fights can't be verified by anyone except for Hicks and Gracie. Okay, well, this is all the first <coughs> person that comes up has said. Oh my god, I'm on a one way street! <laughs> the person that's come up has said that Dan said in the second place is 20 wins, which is more wins than. Than he's actually had. Well, I've only got Wikipedia to go with, so. It's more than. This has gone terribly, Jim. I didn't know there was a one way street. There were no signs. 
Also, Signs was a terrible film. Let's not talk about that. Which one's that sad? Yeah, see, that's 19 more than it's on Wikipedia. Now, here's the real question Was Signs worse than The Village? Because I've got to admit, I didn't see the twist in the signs coming. Largely because it was gibberish. Whereas I did see the twist in the village from the opening scene of the film. And spent the whole film confused why these Amish people were having problems with fake monsters. I mean, they were both awful, awful films. Or The Happening. They just, I think... Where, where Grass did it. I can see that. You're probably better off. I mean, I've just spoiled the twist ending for you, but... Yes, yeah, spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> spoilers. If you haven't All seen any of terrible. these terrible films... Uh, yeah, I'm saving you a lot of effort. I'm going to say The Village was worth the song. Because quite simply, that if these people would just be living in this village for ages, at some point, right, fucking playing the plane. Yep. There's absolutely no way of yep. playing the plane. Yep. Like, we don't live in a particularly populated uh, area. They weren't even that far from the main road, really, were they? No, no, if you could walk there in like a day, whatever it was. So, like, they gave them, they gave them, like, I don't think they gave them like, rations. No. You know, be on your way, it's going to be a week's it, journey. It, it wasn't like heading to the Mount Mordor, where the hell was the mountain? They had to burn the ring up. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of the rings thing. Mount Doom? See, I thought that, and then I was thinking that was just the headquarters of some super villain. Possibly Dr. Colossus. Anyway, I've got a, a result on the end most every week. I'm interested. They, they both You're correlating sources, I yeah. understand this. Okay, they're, they're saying different amounts or the amounts of things, but everyone is saying Travis Fulton is the most real thing. Okay. Somewhere in excess of 250. That's a lot of wins. He's over 300 fights. So does he just take whatever the hell he can get? It seems to be. He's Travis the Iron Man Fulton. Oh, well, if he's Iron Man, I mean. He can yeah. probably do two fights a day as long as he's in charge on a suit and take it. Yeah, most people that start with a loss get three more of those. I think, well, that's a full collection of losses and then they fight again. That does sound like an awful lot of things. Dick! Oh, that's incredible. It is. It's when he was heading towards 100 wins as well. He was on 98 wins. He'd be winning well. Oh, he lost to Danton as well. He hadn't had a loss in like 10 fights or so. And he was up to 95 wins and he fought down 7 and lost. Three more wins, fought down 7 again. I don't think that patience for this game. I'm going to see it through. Uh, Maybe I, you need to some driving the, games. The absolute the worst thing is on this mission is there's no way to fail this without being stupid. Which just means I'm being stupid. <laughs> but I know I'm to blame for myself. There's no time limit. I start with no felony. Okay, yeah, see, stupid. Travis fought, fought, he has fought in the UFC. I was going to say, I'm sure he has. I didn't remember seeing him fight a lot for a guy who has 250 wins. Mm. What's the, the source of the 250 wins? Is that the Wikipedia? Wikipedia sent up this other thing called Wikipedia. Is, is fact and truth in life. <laughs> yeah. Wikipedia sent 250, this other one is saying. Two. So I'm going to say 204, but I don't really trust this one because none of these have. Oh, I don't trust this because 
Travis the Iron Man Fulton has 204 wins, and regular old Travis Fulton has 70 wins. So I'm thinking they might be a problem with their tagging. Unless there's more than one Travis Fulton, Travis. and maybe there's dozens of them. That's, they that's they haven't the, actually had many fights each. It's the greatest con in MMA history. There's, there's 300 Travis Fulton, so that's why they're doing so well. It was like when those twins won the Olympic marathon. <laughs> we arrived at the finish line surprisingly fresh. In that old time when it fixed, when someone took a car. To be fair though, it was so long ago that that car wouldn't have been significantly faster than a good run. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't run a marathon, but I could drive a marathon. Yeah. So. I mean, even in a slow car. That said, though, I didn't buy my performance in this particular game. There's no guarantee. Fuck off! Pig! Sorry, <laughs> I'm insensitive to police officers everywhere. They're just doing their job. In this game. In this game. Please, a scum. To drive straight at you. No regard for your health and safety. Or health. Or safety. Or safety. I gotta get behind me. Check my map because I feel like I'm near the point where I should turn. Yes, just after this green stuff, and then hopefully I'm on the correct side of the one way street. Oh no! Side of the road again. Geniusness. How does that happen? No, oh, because I can't take any damage in this thing. It has to be arrived in pristine condition. So I'm just going to have to do this. It's already got quite a lot of damage. I didn't. I thought it was a. I thought it was a cut through. I, my mind did not pass that as a bloody great big pillar in the way. Fighting Travis Fulton. That's what they should call him. Fighting Travis Fulton. Travis, still fighting. I thought he had one of them things where he got knocked out so badly that he was never really going to recover from it. Like, um, what's his face? Big Dick Tim Sylvia. Seemed completely impervious to harm and then got knocked out pretty damn bad and then was knocked out repeatedly quite easily. Mm -hmm. Not winning as well as he was. Right. Yeah. Is he losing by knockout a lot? Okay, we need this. 
he's gone. He's knocked out quite a lot before that. His first fight, he got knocked out. Oh, okay. And then one world championship against some other Russian champion. And then he lost to Rico Rodriguez by punches. He yeah. lost to Pedro Gizzo by punches. Okay. So back in two well, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm just thinking of Tim Sylvia. Uh, he did lose Tim Sylvia by punches. He also beat him. And then he lost to Federal by punches. So I feel like I should have removed him. Brett Rogers. Again, Brett Rogers sounds like a character yeah. in a West. Yeah. So he had four losses in a row. Three of which were KOs, which doesn't sound good. But then after that, he only had one loss. Since 2011, he's only had one loss. And that okay. was a knockout. Well, that's As long as he's had like, more than one fight since 2011. Yeah, no contest against Tim Sylvia for losing something. It sounds like they got really nasty. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Well, he got knocked the fuck out by Fedor, and then he fought some oh, ancient boxer. That's, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Fedor actually broke something in him. Like there was a piece of his skull rattling around his brain, so any minor tap to the head was going to knock him out from that point. He did have a couple of wins on that, but he got three wins. Well, that's good. Abe Wagner. Abe Wagner is the character on the Oregon Trail. Or Abe Wagner. Abe Wagner. Or Abe Wagner. He's American. It's a Wagner. Or Wagner. Wagner. Recently, yeah. Wagoneer. Between them, but he has had three losses recently. But none of them are People might not be like last door forever. Just no. Yeah, but I feel like that could be said for quite a few Japanese fighters and it's like... Oh, who was that judo who was in the Olympics? Oh, he was quite a large dude. Yeah, he's like 250 pounds. He's almost 6'2". Yeah. Not huge, but pretty big. Big considering he was also an Olympic level judo-ist. Quite well, actually. He's only lost to Yoshida, who was the old judo guy. Right. So that was in his first ever fight. Let's see if I can avoid getting on the wrong fucking side of the road this time. He was lost to Fedor. I thought that he was going to be a little bit. I assume it's because I'm always overtaking people like the boss. But then in the dark, we can't see. even a road there. It's all fuzzy. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna follow this guy, he knows where he's going. Oh, okay, it's just a rule. Oh, what the shit? That is... Interesting road design. I've got to not fail this mission now, this has been too long and too tedious. There's not that bridge thing again. You'd think there'd be some warning that one lane of the road completely vanishes. I'd definitely like some warning. Look at this. You drive along, you've got two lanes. Oh god, yeah. See. Nope. Uh, I've got to drive like an old lady now. Yeah, you can move felony. So you can just... I'm bored of this mission, but that means I have to take it slower, but I'm getting bored. So. I was really hoping that last mission was the last mission. Oh, now there's a big cop. Lights aren't doing 
anything. <laughs> Done, the last mission done. might be super, super hype. Okay. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know. Might be super, super frustrating. Could be. You're done. Saving game after everything game, since yeah. that crash. I would. Ah, oh, that was hype as fuck. Get ready, because it's only going to get better. Just spends his whole life standing by this phone waiting for it to ring. Don't own any furniture Boys, other than we got trouble. table. You see, busy. Something's going on. Way to us. You gotta make us some time to get our shit together. Start them getting to us before we can clear out. There's gonna be a. I didn't hear anything other than we're gonna make them some time, and there's gonna be a few of them. Get some shit together. That's oh, what I heard. We gotta get their shit together. Anything on my map to suggest where they might be? No, great, you gotta track them down. Can I get a clue to that? No. Like, am I as likely to track them down by some. No, is that a cop or is that Granger's game? That's a cop. I'm gonna go this way. At least that's Granger's game. Oh, well, that's a Granger's game. Oh. The Ram? It doesn't really sound. It doesn't really sound like ramming music. But you've got to follow this guy. No, I'm not ramming. Okay, yeah. And there's another one. This one. Okay, yeah. So that's what you've got to do. That's the problem. Is that horse statue doing that thing from Doom? Oh, that's creepy. Get out of here, horse statue. Stop looking at me. Stop. I don't think that cop would appreciate what I'm doing. You could Excuse make me. something like that in real life. That an optical illusion, where whatever way you look at it, it looks like you were looking at it. For the same Why thing. do an optical illusion? Why not motorise it? No, because then it couldn't look at everyone at once. So someone will see uh, it on the wrong side. 
Maybe I'll have a very gentle break. Retired. Now nudge him, nudge him. Really, they really don't build those tactics up. Yeah. Not four tough. There's quite a floor in this. Like. Alright. Oh, wait, that's the correct side of the road. Yeah, but I think that whole bit was. I might be wrong, I might be wrong. You could be right. So I'm confused, because I don't typically drive on the road. That's really calm. That's America really confusing grid system. Like it's probably really simple if you live there. But when I was there, it I seems was like ever almost getting run over because all it seems like it would actually be more logical than a non grid place. But it's just you never know when you get to any a junction. Whether or not you have right away of the cars, or the cars have right away over you, or which cars should have right away over other cars, or which one you should be looking at. The nice thing about this country kind of is you have right away the pedestrian at the end. Uh, where's that car? A bit close. Yeah, we can get past yeah, This guy's not going anywhere, is he? So. This is, it's nice because this is exactly the sort of thing that a cop would ever stop. Oh with. shit, I have time in it. One more. I'm gonna smash the crap out of this guy. So I can get an angle around this. Dick. Oh, we're the worst. He's right there. Why would they just say no? Bad no, no, He got through. <laughs> you saw it. Right, I guess I'll, I'll put in the effort this time. See, I like the, I the idea, the basic idea of it being like, it's like a 70s car chase game, basically. That's basically this game. Yeah. But it's just that the, there's so many sort of things, excuses to be like, well, we're going to do this with the car sort of thing. Like, they're looking for more stuff to even do. You smash up this other guy's car from your car. Oh, he's just disappeared. Oh, and now he's a cop. No, it's right by. You're right. It's nice as well that your car is almost exactly four times stronger than your car. So that you can smash forward. Yes, yeah, good thing I'm not driving a heap of shit. If you were driving one of their cars, you'd be just screwed. It would have been very difficult, yeah. You've got one, you can waste your one. I feel like I'm not going to worry too much about the cops. No. I'll worry more about this to get this shit done. What? You've got loads of time and you've got two minutes and you don't. Um, There's a cop right there. I just try and they might not care about you ramming into this guy. No, he is a gang. That's a terrible place for that guy. Crash slowly into his boot. Use history. It must be that if their cars are slightly damaged, then they have to quit the gang out of embarrassment. You must be like... It is a neat car uh, gang. <laughs> the neat car gang, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you can scuff the bump, oh, yeah. if you dent it at all, they just give up and quit, go home. They turn their lights around. They call them the tiny rides. <laughs> they get real jobs. Oh my god, there's so many cops. what I mean about the difficulty level. Yes. It's almost as if this wasn't thoroughly playtested. 
is the real trouble with this game. It's just that there might be a get back to base afterwards or something. Nope. We're done. You crash slowly into four taxis. Well done, you. I feel pretty good about that. I'm not even going to save it. You'll come back to bite me in the nads. I would have saved it.